What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down two of these routes by Jerry Judy here. We're going to be talking about just what makes him so special, what gets him a lot of separation on these two routes. Uh, let's get started. So main thing I want to talk about here on this out route is how he pushes to sell vertical and how he attacks leverage off the line of scrimmage, okay? So he's coming off the line and attacking this DB. He's outside leverage, taking two steps to push up vertical, then three steps in and out of the break. So... This guy's outside leverage, right? So Judy's going to try to attack him and going to try to attack this midline because one of two things could happen. He could either get him in a back pedal or this guy could keep his leverage to the inside, right? Either or that works out because let's say he keeps this leverage. Judy gives the same one-two move, pushes up vertical. He's going to open up his hips and he's going to go turn and run because he wants to protect his fate, right? So he's coming off the line here, one-two, right? Really selling like he's going vertical, being violent with his upper half, being real sudden with his feet. I know it's kind of tough to see here, but he's going one-two. Very violent. Now he's pushing up vertical. And now you see when he pushes up vertical, he still keeps the same pad level. He still keeps the same speed. He's got his eyes forward. That's what's going to get a reaction out of this DB to turn his hips, right? So he comes off of it. One, two, one, two, three. And then he's in and out of this break. Now you see when he makes this break here. When he's got to get back to this 90-degree angle, he's dropping his hips and he's bringing his chin to his knee. What a lot of people do is when they drop and they try to change direction here, they go one, two, and then they pick their chest back. And they pick their chest up and their feet are out in front of them because they're really focused on dropping their butt. Yes, you do want to drop, but I'd rather have you drop your hips and try to bring your chin to your knee because that's what's going to get you to go forward. You're coming off this. I want you to go forward here, two, three, out of this break. And you see this DB completely turned his hips because of that initial rocker step here that pushes up vertical to get him to turn his hips. Now, let's talk about how he's able to get out of this break so fast, right? Because he's able to just get in and out in three steps. What a lot of people do when they snap down like this is they'll take five steps here, right? They'll go right, left, right, left again, or another right after that, and taking five steps. But you see when Judy goes one, he's in this explosive position, and he's worried about driving off of there, but you see his second step how much that pivots. And look what that does to his hips. That's what gets his hips back on this 90 degree angle. And then that third step can just come right around and drive him out. That's a great job here by Judy getting out of this break as fast as possible. Again, we want to square up this DB, attack his leverage, give him a one, two, push up vertical for three hard steps, break this thing off and accelerate back underneath. Even if I'm in this position where I get this DB to turn his hips right, he could still speed turn out of there and play this thing correctly. That's why I got to pump my arms and drive off of this break so I can continue to get separation from this DB. That's an acceleration phase of the route. That's something that's not coached that much. When we go one, two, three, I want to really accelerate out, continue to get space from this guy. It's a great route here by Judy. Let's watch it again one more time. So attacks leverage, one, two, one, two, three. In and out of this thing, two to three steps. Great route here by Judy. Okay, so now he's going to be working kind of this dig route here. Same thing. He's going to really be pushing up vertical to get this DB to sit outside to get him to sit on this fade route. Doesn't want to get burned deep. So here we go. We watch it again. Gives that little pressure step. A little hesitation, then a one-two, right? So he comes off here. Again, where is he coming off the line of scrimmage? He's not just running straight up. He's attacking his leverage, right? We want to attack that midline and put him on the defensive, right? We never want him to think that he's coming at us. We want to always have him be on the defensive in a back pedal. I'm attacking straight out at him. Now, he gives this kind of power step here, one power step, and he's going to burst up field, right? So now he's going to sell. Like, like this could work a couple different ways, right? This is a very advanced, advanced route because we could come off the line here and bush, burst up vertical off of this power step and that sells like he's running a fade too but now he's going to give this kind of stutter like he's running maybe a little stutter go here to really get this db to turn his hips to get him to sit down and then overreact on this thing okay now there's a couple ways you could do this the first time you come off this route maybe you come off the line you hit him with this power step right here and you just push vertical and try to run by him right then maybe the second time you run this thing you make that power step you run up then you give a little chatter give him a little stutter try to get this db to stop his feet and then I push up vertical and run that or maybe I run a comeback off of it one of those things but you're making it all look the same right it's all about playing mind games with this guy if I just if I were to just run to the outside I wouldn't get as much separation because as soon as I break down this DV is going to be breaking down right I really wanted to use these two moves here so jab and then a little stutter to get an overreaction out of him right get him to really overcommit his hips and then Judy you see how he's just one two violent head and shoulders that's also helps with getting this DB to turn because look where he's watching Watching. He's watching those hips. So he comes off here. One, two. Violent head and shoulder fake. And then he's able to snap that head around, get his hips open, drive and pump those arms back out across this dig. That's a great route here. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So again... 
taking that power jab to really push vertical, to really sell vertical. A little stutter maybe to get this DB to sit and then overreact, get in oh shit mode, and then a sudden just very powerful, very violent stick with his head and shoulders moving separate from his legs. That's a great router by Judy. This is probably why he's one of the best route runners in the league. Let's watch it full speed. So jab, a little stutter. One sudden stick explode out on this route. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. And if um, you're a receiver and you want me to take a look at your route running, you want me to break it down just like how I broke down Judy's routes, sign up on my website. Click that link in the description that says submit your film for a film breakdown. Hope to get you guys signed up. And please leave any questions you guys have in the comments. I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll see you guys next time.